If you're building AI apps using JavaScript, you must know about Hugging Face GS. Why? Let me show you. This is one of the examples that's available for us in the library. It's just a few lines. You can use any one of this model. This is a model, this is a model, and this is a model. Let's take a look to the text to image example over here. We pass the model, the inputs, and the parameter that we want. This is the Hagen Fee GS, all right? Look at it, how easy it is. I'm gonna do the same thing, but using the alternative old library Transformer GS. Here's the code that we need to write for using Transformer GS. This is just to run one model, one model. So today we are going to create a small app called the Recipe Detective AI that will use one of the Hagen Face inference model. And we're gonna talk about how we can use it and how we can use also agents. Funny small story, when I was building this AI app, a Recipe Detective AI, the idea of it is you give it an image, it will understand what the inside this image a term of food, I will send this kind of food details to a large language model like OpenAI, how I can make this uh, food in terms of recipe, uh, step by steps, what the ingredients and instruction, and then turn this recipe take it to an actual voice like people can hear and it's kind of human. Ingredients, and one pizza dough, store-bought or homemade, and half cup tomato sauce, one and a half cups shredded mozzarella cheese, half cup sliced black olives, one half cup cherry tomatoes sliced, one tablespoon olive oil, one quarter teaspoon dried oregano, optional, salt and pepper to taste, fresh basil leaves for garnish. I was looking to a model that will take the image that I have and I can ask it and it will tell me detailed description. When I was scrolling down to see how the code for it will work and stumble upon Hagen Face GS. What is Hagen Face GS? which is to break it apart, it's to three library. The first one, inference, which is the, the endpoints, basically the servers that we can make calls to more than 400,000 machine learning model. Actually, it's not 100, this is old. For the hub, it's talking to hug and face spaces. Like you can create reboots and delete stuff and commit and download files. And agents, agent is like interaction between the hug and face model through natural language, the interface itself. You can ask the agent what you want to build and it will return you code that you can use so you create what functionality that you want. So installation is a very simple, straightforward, NPM install, whatever what you want from it. I'm gonna focus on inference because this is the bread and butter of this video and agents. So straightforward, you can import it start using type the task that you want and the model that you want and give it the input or data that depend on what you are using for example in our case we are using image to text here you just give it the data of the image url and the model we are using the vet bgbt image captioning compare this to transformer gs which is an, an alternative to the Bison library of transformers, which is it's a library for machine learning for the web. It's running the, in the browser itself with no need for servers. It can do natural language processing, computer vision, and audio multimodeling, like a lot of stuff. But it's not that good compared to Hagen uh, Face GS. Let's take a look to our app and how it's worked. The entire idea of this app is very simple. We give the, the captioning or the model of Hagen Face URL. We send it here. It tells us it's a pizza with olive and tomatoes and cheese. Then I do something called image detection and it tell me it's the score of 99, basically it's sure it's a pizza. Then I took this, then I took this a pizza with olive tomato and then send it to OpenAI and it determines the ingredients and the instruction of how you create it. And finally, we turn this text and instruction to an a voice that we can hear. Okay, let's break our code apart. What we have here, a bunch of libraries that we are using. That of course, I'm using Nix.js, OpenAI, file system, and Bass, because I'm gonna write the stream of the sound into a file. I'm gonna show you how. Inference from Hagen Face, the Hagen Face agent, and OpenAI with the key I saved it inside an in environment file over here and each uh, hf token is the hugging face token you can get it from the settings you can get your hugging face token from settings over here and you can go to access token and it, here it is you can like manage new token do a lot of stuff i just took this token and copy pasted inside my code and then we give this and uh, we give the token that we have to the inference and that's it that right now we can use almost any model that we want and hug and face. What I'm setting in next, I'm gonna come back to this logic, but what I'm setting in next over here is I get 
request i'm sending through this get request url and in the image url that i want to to detect here i am checking on the image if it's not existing then i send the error here i'm talking about the agent i'm gonna go back for it but i don't need it right now i want to show you this i am using the inference image to text because there is different kind of function inside it the one that i'm using image to text i'm sending inside the data and an image inside the url and here in the, the model i want to use is the vetgbt image captioning here this model the vetgbt image captioning have 1 million and 800,000 download in just in just the last month by the way if you want to learn more about Hagen Face, check my last video. I made a lot of stuff and I crammed a lot of stuff inside it. And I'm just displaying this data over here. It till it gives us generated text. It's a pizza with olives and tomato and cheese. All right. Then I've tried something else called visual questions and answering. This is another kind of machine learning models. You give it an a text or a documentation and you ask it uh, what the food inside this image for our case or whatever what you want. It can be a documentation asking about price or something else. And I'm using just also the inference visual questions and answering and give it an option called wait for models. There is a ton of options inside the options of Hagen Face GS over here. There is a ton of options. You can come here and read it all if you want to. I'm going to leave a link in description for you to read it and i'm giving it on inputs this model is not like the last model that we have this just need data and this one need two things an image and a questions what the image that it will look at and the question that you want to ask so i give it inside the inputs i got this also from visual question and answering inside the documentation and the model is the vlet b32 fine tune vehicle a it gave me in 99 score pizza it's a pizza inside this image which is correct this is what we have this is not important for us actually i'm not using this but i just wanted to show you what it is like to use inference and how it's easy to use in hugging and face ne the next stage is giving this generated text a pizza with all of tomato and cheese to a large language model that can understand what is this and give us the recipe here it comes the open ai i'm using open ai just because it's the best large language model i try to use one of the hugging face libraries um free models it's kind of honestly bad it's a simple uh, a, a compilations a chat i send i tell it you are a chief who know every single recipe and can answer it with easy to follow details steps and the prompt from the user is is gonna be what is the detailed recipe for whatever the image result generated text is uh, which is pizza with olive then i took this recipe and i send it another function which is gonna generate a speech file where is this file i am setting this file inside a public folder of nix.js why because this is the easiest way because i'm gonna have to use the front end to run this entire the entire mb3 uh, file and we write on top of it so it doesn't create a new files let's take a look to our front end right we have was just one page just one single page that's handling all the logic i'm using um the right act markdown the remaker gmf so i can render the text that's coming back from open ai to and a good looking html and use it in the web and i have like react icons use effect and you, you use the state from react i'm using the states the first thing that i'm doing in is a use effect this use effect actually check if the results is done plays the audio when is the text is sent here that's mean that also the audio is done so it's come here and it's automatically played for us so you don't have to press play or something like this here is classify is it handling sending the, the image to the back end here i'm sending i'm using fetch it's very simple abi image to text and the image is the a encoded image url and it's when it's done i get json back which is have the recipe and i set here the loading is true but right now i put it in false so i stop loading and i said done is true so I, the the audio can play over here i'm looking to his right now it's false when it's come back it's true and it's the audio can play here i have two function very simple function play and stop one do play for the voice 
I want to stop. I have a couple of images here and a pre, pre example basically images that I saved from the web. When you click in any one of them on the HT, uh, the GSX that we have here, here it, it, if you click in any one of them, it will send this image URL to the selected function. And it, what it do, it send the image URL here to um, back end basically it, it set the image url so it can show in the gsx and invoke classify which is send it to the back end uh, beside the loop that we have for the images example we have here the input that it will we send the url to classify and set the image url very simple and the image displayer itself when about the image url we display it so we can know what it is and i'm doing a conditional rendering for loading and also check on the results is came back and loading is false then i can display this little kind of audio here that have two buttons play and stop and finally the audio file that we have and the markdown i am best the entire recipe to it it's the same markdown that we created in the rag video which is i think people love this video with that the front end and the back end is done. Let's take a look to something else that Hagen Face GS have something called agent. Is Hagen Face agent is very straightforward and simple, but it do something different actually. It doesn't make you use the interface directly. It technically make it for you. We use the Hagen Face token and create something called Hagen Face agent by passing this token to it. Then we ask it to generate a code for the job that we want to draw a picture for a rubber duck with a top hat then caption this image so as there is two different functionality here or jobs the first one to draw the image which basically takes to image then then caption this picture so we gonna do image to text the code that should be generated here as an output i wait for text to image rubber duck with the top hat then the caption with image to text which is gonna be the result of the at cat that have a wearing a hat on top evaluate this code using this agent evaluation code and we then use this kind of code or, or basically hit run then using agent to run we can do this it, this two function right? but when i tried it honestly i found that it doesn't work with me for some reason it can be its own video if you wanted me if you want me to create a video about it just tell me in the comment here it, agent can also work with open ai for example here instead of using just the hug and face hug and face agent by giving it to token we also give it the function of the agent that we want to use or the large language model that we use in our case here is this code a little bit out outdated it's using tickets davinci 3 and it, a prompt and it basically returns only the results from this function but unfortunately as i expected the hug and face agent is not completely yet uh, when i go to the demo for the hug and face agent gs I get error so yeah it's kind of sucks if you are building an ai app i really recommend you don't use transformer gs unless you have to it have its own limitation also like some of the stuff in it is not supported but yeah it's alternative for bison we don't have to complain about it before we end it thank you for watching i hope that you learned something new in this video and if you like this kind of content please let me know i have already created two kind of videos about hugging face and language chain you can find in the rag video and the hugging face and language chain in five minutes the last two videos and please subscribe and hit the like button and the notification it helped my channel grow it make me want to create more better content for you guys and so we can learn together so i'm gonna create even more content in the coming weeks about this kind of stuff diving into more language chains hugging face creating more complicated kind of apps i hope that you subscribe and share my journey of learning once more thank you for watching and see you in the coming video